90.3 WHPC now presents Law You Should Know. The law affects every aspect of our lives, our home, our jobs, and our recreational activities. Now, learn about the law and how to protect yourself against the loss of your liberty or property and learn how to stand up for your rights and seek compensation when you have been wronged. Your host for Law You Should Know is attorney Kenneth J. Landau, a past dean of the Nassau Academy of Law and frequently lectures to lawyers on ethics and avoiding problems with clients and to the public on how to choose and use lawyers. This is Law You Should Know on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Hi, this is Ken Landau and welcome to Law You Should Know. My special guest is Angelica Cesario. She's an attorney and director of attorney education and development at Lawline. Angelica, Hi, welcome Ken. back to Law You Should Know. Thank you. Good to be here. Thanks for having and just, me today. You're very welcome. And just explain to our listeners, lawyers among them, what Lawline is. So we are an online continuing legal education provider. Um, we're the largest online provider in the nation. So we provide uh, CLE programming for attorneys nationwide and even beyond you know, your traditional continuing legal education requirements. We really believe in providing educational content that attorneys need in all areas, regardless of um, what type of legal organization you work with, whether you're newly admitted or you've been practicing for 40 years. Um, and we try to, you know, create content in every area of substantive law, but also even beyond that, in areas that really impact the legal profession, like diversity, equity, and inclusion, attorney well-being, business development. You know, a lot of lawyers learn about the substance of law in law school, but nobody really teaches you how to run a, a legal practice and get clients and market yourself. So we create content um, in all those areas, and um, we have an online platform that we really try to make as seamless as possible for our users so they can just log in, watch. We keep track of everything for them, all the requirements, all the certificates, attendance, so that attorneys can just focus on, on watching what they need when they need it. And, it, and attorneys and others can take programs live or draw from your extensive library of past programs. Yeah. So we have a catalog of about 1,700 courses that are on demand. So attorneys can watch um, really at any time at their leisure. Most people like Netflix or anything else, they like to watch on their own schedule when works for them. Everyone and, and has they like to binge lives. also, and you encourage that as well. <laughs> That's the hope, right? <laughs> um, and then beyond that, we, we do have live programming as well. So um, there are many states that require live uh, continuing legal education programming for attorneys. So we offer, uh, you know, a minimum of 200 live programs a year, often more. We had over 400 this year. Um, and, you know, that, that's a really great experience because you can interact with the person teaching the course. You can ask questions in real time. And, um, you know, if you're a Lawline subscriber, you have your choice. You can watch live or you can watch on your own schedule, on your own time. We have an app, too, that makes it easy for lawyers on the go. They can download a course and listen to it, you know, if they're on the train, at the gym, what have you, to really just try to make things as easy as possible for them. How would you say that Lawline is different from other CLE providers? It's a great question. One, I think we're really a partner for attorneys and law firms too. You know, we, um, we can create content really quickly based on attorney needs. And that's something that's really important to us. We really want to hear, um, hear our customers and the, and the law firms that we work with as well. And when they tell us, hey, you know, we'd love to see this or we'd love some content in that state, we go out and we create it for them. And we also care about the attorney as a whole beyond, you know, beyond their CLE requirement. We're really thinking about what do attorneys need to know to be successful in their careers and to empower them because ultimately they attorneys are trying to pursue justice for their clients. So that's what we're thinking about. What programming can we create that really allows them to take something away from what they've learned and then take it back to their firm and use it to help and empower their client. 
And as you mentioned, you're thinking about the next big thing. You want to be ready and, and you can turn out, you can put together that CLE program in a very short time. That's right. That's right. I mean, we are very fortunate. We have, have an existing, um, we call we call the people who teach our programming uh our faculty, because that's really what they are. They're educators. They're like the top practitioners in the field who love teaching. And so we have an existing faculty roster of over 1,500 attorneys that we've developed relationships with over time. And, you know, we, we can reach out to them and say, hey, this is what we're looking to do. Can you do this for us? And because we have built those relationships and they recognize the value of teaching with law lines specifically, then they will create that content for us. And we work together to do that and always make sure that we're on the pulse and keeping track of what attorneys need at any given time. And at the same time, if an attorney listening to this program says, I'm an expert on this issue, this field, or this subfield of law, or this is going to be a big, important topic as we emerge from COVID or after COVID, you welcome their, a, a proposal from them, and you can help them become your law, the go-to law line faculty member in a, a short period of time and, and offer that program. Absolutely. That's right. So lawline.com slash faculty slash join. Um, that's where attorneys can go to apply to teach with us. And we are are always welcoming um, new attorneys to teach programming with us across across the spectrum of practice area, experience level, and region as well. Uh, we are now permanently remote, which um, has given us a lot of benefits in that we can work with attorneys across the nation. <clears throat> so we have worked with attorneys from um, Maine all the way to California. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, so, you, and you run programs in New York for law firms, big and small, and you cover almost every possible imaginable topic. That's right. From the very niche, you know, equine law, um, all the way to, you know, um, litigation topics that most and contract law topics that are widely applicable. So, um, you know, we really want to help any any attorney that comes to our site and make sure that they can find what they need. And they can also find an introductory program or a program that's a very sophisticated program for an attorney who's a specialist but needs to know more about the latest developments or about another sub area, another subspecialty. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, right, attorneys have all different levels of experience practicing law. So if you're a newly admitted attorney, we have lots of beginner level courses that are catered specifically to you. Um, and we also have lots of what we call skills programming too. So, you know, you might learn about the substance of, you know, this is torts law, right? But you may not know some of the skills. How do you actually um, craft an opening statement? Right. Or how do you effectively examine an expert witness? So we have programming along those lines. And then even if you've been practicing for decades, there's still, uh, you know, there's there's still always something to learn. Technology is constantly evolving. There are always new trends that are emerging. So we offer advanced level courses, too. Right. So some of the some of the nuances that start to arise that even the most experienced attorneys still need to know. And then there's lots of, you know, on the topic of technology, there's legal technology that attorneys need to become familiar with, especially now in this remote and digital age. And then legally, we're seeing new new things emerge, right? Like NFTs, uh, cryptocurrency. So we're, in terms of the substance of our content, we're um, always creating new content that is relevant and that can really educate attorneys on on what's coming and what's you know what's coming down the pipeline. So shortly after a law related topic appears in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, you're going to create a course to help lawyers be on the cutting edge of that topic. Yes, that's what we do. We have a team of program attorneys who are actual lawyers who have themselves practiced law, know what that experience is like. And that's another thing that really distinguishes Lawline from other providers that we have uh, attorneys with experience creating our programming who understand the experience firsthand. And, you know, even in areas where we can't create a CLE, you know, immediately, what something else we've started doing is creating 
in the news content. So shorter brief segments around topics that attorneys need to know right away. So for example, you know, we just created a really short 15 minute segment. Can someone who's fired for not getting the COVID-19 vaccination collect unemployment? Those are issues that employers are, are dealing with right now, day to day, and they need answers right away. So we're creating that content, even beyond traditional CLE, so that attorneys can get answers quickly to the questions that they have. And with with the with the new administration, with different economic developments around the world, with the impact of COVID changing everything we, we do and think about, the law is constantly changing and the way lawyers will have to, the device lawyers will give and the services they're going to uh, provide to the clients is going to change as well. Yeah, I mean, that's spot on. In the last, you know, 19, 20 months, the industry has shifted dramatically, both in the way attorneys practice, but also, you know, in the statutes, right, that are affecting employers and insurers and really anyone connected to the legal industry. There's so much rapidly developing. So, you know, during uh, when the pandemic first first hit March 2020, we quickly started creating as much content as we could around this. Like, how is this impacting um, empl- employers? How is this impacting insurance law, tax law? Really, you name it, right? Issues that have now emerged from working from home that never existed before. And we created a whole collection of content around COVID-19. And we're continuing to create that content as new issues emerge now with vaccinations and booster shots and uh, universities and public schools. There's there's so much, um, you know, so many questions that have arisen out of the pandemic and new legal issues. So we're constantly um, constantly making sure that we're covering those areas. And for better or worse, more are rising every day <laughs> and they'll continue to rise. Right, right. That's the, that's the truth. What else do you look at aside from the, what else do you look at before you, as you put together a potential law line program? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, first and foremost, we look inward at who we are as an organization and who we want to be. And so we know at our core that we exist and our belief is that we are here to empower attorneys and to help them pursue justice for their clients. And so what information do they need that's critical to them? And how do we make it as accessible for them as possible when they need it? So um, that's always the first thing we're thinking about, you know, and then after that, we look at what are some of the issues that are happening in the world today? What are some of the legal developments? And then we're talking to people, you know, we talk to our customers, we really, really take to heart what they're telling us, what they wanna see. And we talk to our faculty, the people who teach our programming. They're the ones, you know, on the ground day to day. And they're telling us, you know, I've really been hearing a lot about this issue, or, you know, I'm seeing this a lot, I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of questions, or a lot of clients are coming to me with this. And that's really what helps us keep a pulse on what's happening. And then we're thinking about, okay, so these are the issues that are coming up. How do we make sure that we're creating program that targets different audience levels, right? So if you're an in-house counsel, uh, you, you know, there are some issues that pertain to you that might be a little bit different from a solo practitioner or from someone at an AMLAW 100 firm. So then once, you know, once we know what those issues are, we're we're catering to our audience to different audiences and making sure there's something for everyone, um, both at you know employer type, but also at experience level too. Going back to what we said before, so that we have you know cor- uh, courses and content for newly admitted attorneys, uh, then you've mid level associates all the way up to you know the managing partner who's been practicing for decades. We're listening to Angelica Cesario. She's an attorney and she's also the director of attorney education development for Lawline. As you've heard, they're a CLE provider all around the world and, and also offering many courses of interest to the attorneys and others in New York. Aside from attorneys, what are the types of professionals or business persons would find your courses helpful? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, a our attorneys are the primary audience that we target, but for anyone in the legal industry, right, if you're a medical expert, 
then you're probably going to be able to find some programming that will help you in your work. If you're a legal assistant, you might not need to know about some of the legal technology that's happening too, right? Um, we also, by the way, as an aside, uh, do offer CPE, continuing professional education for our sis- under our sister company, furthered.com. So um, for accountants, CPAs, you know, other finance professionals, you can find that. Um, and along those lines, we have a wealth of tax law programming that we find really um, benefits not just tax attorneys, but others in the in the tax area as well, like CPAs or accountants. And then, you know, a lot of the courses that we have also, you know, well-being, for example, those are issues that affect everyone. They affect attorneys, of course, and we know attorneys, um, you know, ha- are, are, are plagued with stress, right, and all these issues that cause Um, you know, substance abuse challenges and mental health challenges. But those are issues that impact everyone across the board. So everyone can uh, really use guidance on practicing mindfulness strategies to better themselves. And then um, our business and development content, too, is pretty widely applicable. So looking at regardless of whether you're in the law or outside the law, you need to know how to market yourself, tell your story, um, you know, speak effectively in public. So there are many issues across the board. Can you give us some other examples of the the marketing related courses that you have available to lawyers, whether they're a solo practitioner, a boutique law firm, or a larger law firm? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. We recently had our first ever business and development event, um, and it was it was a lot of fun. Um, and the reason we did this is, you know, we really were listening to our customers who were telling us, I need to know how to set up Google search so that someone who's using Google can find me and find my firm. Or, you know, is it okay if I if I uh, say that I'm an expert, right? So then we said, let's, let's put an event together. Let's really focus on what are the things that attorneys need to know to have a successful practice. Um, For this particular event, we focus on solo practitioners because they're a core core demographic of our customer base. But a lot of the issues are really, um, you know, really will apply across the board. So we had, for example, um, crafting your social media to bring attention to your firm's work, Um, using data to make and drive your business decisions, right? A lot of attorneys are not necessarily well versed in um, analyzing their data and using that to drive revenue, creating a legal marketing plan for the year ahead, um, the ethics of creating your own personal legal brand. That's really important. Attorneys need to have a brand for their firms and know how to tell their story so that when you are giving your classic elevator pitch and you've got one or two minutes to talk to a client or someone else, how do you make yourself stand out? Uh, we have course, courses on how you speak to the media, right? So that you can um, really elevate your platform and also effectively represent your client. We have courses on how to become a go-to legal expert for media outlets so that when issues happen, you're the person that the journalist calls and not someone else. So, um, you know, all of these courses are really designed to to create a whole attorney. So, yes, you need your CLE, of course, but you also need to know all of these things um, to make you successful in your legal business. And as you've mentioned, the wellness attorneys need to find new areas of law to to find new specialties, to update their knowledge, to update their marketing, and to uh, focus on wellness as well of themselves and their colleagues. And it sounds like you're covering all these areas. I would like to remind our listeners, you're listening to Angelica Cesario. She's an attorney and she's also director of attorney education development for Lawline. As you've heard, they're a CLE provider around the world. And in addition to traditional CLE programs, they offer many other courses. Just to go back to law students or law graduates, you run programs for them to give them, introduce them to help bridge the gap between law school and the real world of practicing law and subjects they may not have learned about in law school, but might be important to their area of practice. That's exactly right, Ken. So um, we offer 
and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say hundreds of courses that newly admitted attorneys will find useful. Um, you know, if, if we're lucky in law school, maybe we've had a moot court or a clinic that has helped us, you know, with some legal skills, but really it just, it only starts to scratch the surface. So, you know, we have programming on contract drafting, right? And what are, what are best practices for drafting a contract? What do you want to avoid in a contract? Um, deposition skills, it's really, really critical for young attorneys to know. Um, cross-examination, crafting an opening statement, uh, e-discovery, that's big, right? Um, a lot of attorneys don't necessarily learn the ins and outs of e-discovery. So we we offer everything, bold, and we're very careful not just to focus on litigators, but, you know, on for transactional attorneys as well, what are what are all the things that you need to know? Negotiation skills, right? It's really helpful because when you watch our programming in our platform too, you can also take notes and you have access to comprehensive course materials as well. So you're uh, you're watching a course, you're able to, if you're watching on demand, you're able to pause take notes, and really absorb the information that you're learning. You have materials available that you can access during the program or afterwards. And we really focus on making sure that our written material is just as substantive as the content itself so that you can go back and learn from it. And really, our goal is to provide actionable takeaways that attorneys can actually use after the course and take back with them, you know, in the office or in the court, in the courtroom. And once an attorney has taken that introductory course in whatever subject or specialty, chances are you have a deeper dive if they need to learn more at that, or they're ready to learn more, they need to learn more at that time about that field or a, a closely related field. That's exactly right. And in our catalog, you can actually filter by difficulty level as well. So um, you can look for if you're looking for an advanced level course on a topic, then you can easily find it. And with a catalog of over 1700 courses, chances are they're going to be more than enough of what you're looking for. But for some reason, if you don't find that, tell us and we will create it for you because it's really important that we are servicing our attorneys. And if you're not finding that course and you're asking for it, probably someone else is looking for it too. So we, we want to, we want to hear from our customers and um, we're, we're really invested in their education and their journey with us. And if that, that person happens to be the expert in, in that, potential new course or a, a, a deeper dive on a course that you've had, you welcome their submitting their credentials and perhaps an outline for their course and why it's important or will be important in the near future. Absolutely. Um, we are always welcoming new attorneys to teach with us. Even if you see something that's on that subject, every every faculty member has a different perspective, right? So maybe maybe we have a topic that's taught by a plaintiff side attorney, and you're a defense attorney, and you're coming at it with a whole new angle. We want to hear from you. Um, or maybe there's an issue where you can take a much deeper dive and provide something of nuance that no one has talked about before. And that's how we get a lot of our content, you know, and we have faculty members who have taught with us before and they enjoy their experience with us. We try to make it as turnkey as possible. Now we're completely remote, which makes it even easier for our faculty. So from their location, they can create programs with us. We send them equipment. We really want our faculty to uh, have the best audiovisual quality possible for their programming. We want them to look good. It makes us look good. It's a win-win. And then, you know, once they see how easy it is to create a course, they want to keep coming back with us, which is which is our goal. And we develop those relationships over time. And then we learn, okay, these are the things, you know, maybe this was the hot topic last year, but this year it's something else. And we're going to create a program on that new thing too. Or it might be an updated edition or another nuances that's changed the procedures or the outcome or the results or the, or the importance of that topic. Just take a moment again and give us the the process for submitting either a course that someone would like to do or as a, as a faculty member or a course they'd like to see. Sure. So lawline.com backslash faculty backslash join. 
There you'll find information about teaching with Lawline, a guide that will answer your frequently asked questions, and just shoot us an email. If that doesn't work for you, you can email programs at lawline.com and just let us know what your idea is. We will always get back to you and have a conversation about it. And you're right. Um, there's always that new, the new topic that emerges or existing topics that need updating. Like with COVID, there were so many, uh, so many rapid developments and we were constantly updating our content, sometimes every few weeks, you know, on like court practices, what courtrooms were open, what wasn't, what are their new policies and procedures and COVID protocols. Um, so we always want to make sure that our content is still accurate and relevant and up to date. And if someone is interested in looking at the upcoming schedule for lawline programs or your library of programs that you've described during the program, what's the best way to find those? Yeah, that's a great question. Go to lawline.com. You'll see right up front are all of our upcoming courses. And it's easily, it's easily accessible by what's upcoming, what's on demand. You can search by your, the state that you're admitted in. So to easily find all of the courses that are approved for CLE in your state, you can search by course category as well. So if you are a labor and employment attorney and you want to see the upcoming courses in your practice area, you can easily do that as well. So we really try to make our website, lawline.com, as user-friendly as possible. And if you see that program for another state and don't see it for your state and you're the right person to teach it, let Lawline know as well. And reach out to us because there, you know, maybe we can get it approved for CLE in your state too. Okay. I'd like to thank our guest, Angelica Cesario, the Director of Attorney Education Development for Lawline. If you missed any portion of the program or you'd like to tell someone else about it, please go to the podcast of this or many other programs about law you should know at nccradio.org. And please join us next week at this same time for another program on law you should know. 